Greetings, my name is Andy and I am part of the Profile Support Team. In this video, I will show you how to complete the TP1K Premium Payable under the Quebec Prescription Drug Insurance Plan. We will go through a few different scenarios to show you how to complete the TP1K. In this first scenario, we will look at a single taxpayer who has coverage with a prescription drug insurance plan. On the Personal Information form, scroll down to the Provincial Information for Quebec. In Prescription Drug Insurance Plan, where it asks the question, did any of the following situations apply to you in 2010 throughout the year, click the drop-down box and select 14. You are covered by a group insurance plan. If we take a look at our TP1K, we'll notice that Profile enters the information automatically and in this scenario shows that the client does not owe any premiums. If we remove the 14, meaning that they didn't have a prescription drug insurance plan, and go back to the TP1K, we can see now that the premium is there. In this scenario, we'll look at a single taxpayer who is only covered for part of the year with a prescription drug insurance plan. On the TP1K form, go to Section B, the number of months for which you do not have to pay a premium. Carefully read through the classifications here to determine which best describes the taxpayer's situation. In our example, we'll select Box 50, Group Insurance Plan, and select the months from January to June. At the bottom in Box 98, we see that Profiles calculated everything automatically based on the number of months we've entered. In this scenario, we will see how a couple without a prescription drug insurance plan, where the taxpayer would pay for the spouse, would complete the TP1K. On the spouse's personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area, select 20 as the applicable situation. Your spouse has provided your information. On the taxpayer's personal information form in the same Quebec Provincial Information Area, yes is selected for the question, do you choose to pay your spouse's premium? On the TP1K for the taxpayer, we can see that Profile is automatically calculating the amounts. On the spouse's TP1K, there is no premium payable in Box 98. Now we'll look at a scenario with a couple where the taxpayer has a prescription drug insurance plan that covers his spouse as well and the taxpayer is taking care of the spouse. On the taxpayer's personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area, answer yes to the question, do you choose to pay your spouse's premium? If, at this point, you selected 14 as the applicable situation, you were covered by a group insurance plan, notice the warning message here. If the taxpayer is paying for the spouse, leave this box blank. On the TP1K, since we can't enter the prescription drug insurance plan situation item, we'll need to enter all the coverage on the TP1K itself. Check box 50 in section B, then check all the months in the column next to it. Box 98 is showing this amount now because we haven't filled out the spouse's information yet. We'll need to do the same thing in the second part for the spouse. Check box 64 and then check all of the months in the column next to it. The reason we do this is because we chose to provide all the information on the taxpayer's return, so there's no need to complete the spouse's TP1K. On the spouse's personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area, select 20 as the applicable situation. Your spouse has provided your information. This next scenario is with a couple where the taxpayer has a six-month prescription drug insurance plan that covers his spouse as well, and the taxpayer is taking care of the spouse. On the taxpayer's personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area, answer yes to the question, do you choose to pay your spouse's premium? On the TP1K, since we can't enter the Prescription Drug Insurance Plan situation item, we'll need to enter all the coverage on the TP1K itself. Check box 50 in Section B, then check the months of coverage in the column next to it. We'll need to do the same thing in the second part for the spouse. Check box 64, then check the months of coverage in the column next to it. The reason we do this is because we chose to provide all the information on the taxpayer's return, so there's no need to complete the spouse's TP1K. Box 98 is showing this amount now because it's six months for the taxpayer and six months for the spouse. On the spouse's personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area, select 20 as the applicable situation. Your spouse has provided your information. 
For all scenarios, the top part of the TP1K is automatically filled out based on the selections made on the personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area. In summary, select the proper choices for the primary spouse on the personal information form in the Quebec Provincial Information Area. Make any detailed changes on the TP1K form. Enter any relevant spousal information on the TP1K form. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you continue to enjoy using Profile and other Fine Intuit products.